In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to a database by using PHP PDO. The reason why we use PHP PDO than any other method to connect to a database is because all those other methods are going to be outdated. So this is the most up-to-date way to connect to a database. So before we get started, I'm going to show you my project, which I call the video. And within the project, I have a folder called DB. And within that folder, I can I have a connect.php file. The connect.php file is simply where we're going to connect to the database. And then later on, we're going to include this file on web pages that we need database stuff. For this example, I'm using the index.php and pretending that there's going to be stuff pulled from the database and pushed into the index page. And the index page is basically just a skeleton of, or an HTML skeleton. And if you notice, I put the connect.php file in the head tag. And the reason why I put it in the head tag because I want to check, well, when we get to the connect.php part of the video, I'm going to connect, I want to make sure that the database is connected. If the database doesn't connect, I'm going to kill the page. And if I put this later in the document, it will cause elements to load before the database actually connects. So it'll be weird if the page dies halfway through and it just looks unprofessional. So it's always best to put your connect file at the very top of the page so nothing loads and just have the connect file load first and then all your elements. So we're going to get started with connect.php. And as you can see, I separated the connect.php in two ways. It's local server information. That's basically all your information based on your uh, profile or your server. And then I have another part which checks if the database connection was successful, which was what I was talking about earlier. So for the local server information part of this video, um, there are four different variables that you're going to need. The first one is being the server name. If you haven't changed any of the server settings, it should be this. However, if you have changed it, then you got to put your own server name. You can also use localhost, but I prefer this. Then we also include a username. And this username is basically the username you use to connect to PHP my admin. So if you haven't changed it, as I did, um, it's still root. And then your password, again, if you haven't changed it, it's null. Or non-existent, there's no password. And then the last thing we need is a database name. So for this video, I created a database called test. And I'll show you that real quick. I created a database test. It's basically an empty um, database. There's nothing in it. So I just created the database within PHP my admin and I'm calling it by its name. So those are the four things you need for later use. Now we're going to actually connect to the database. So now we're going to check if the connection was successful. And to do that, we're going to create a try catch. Basically what try catch is, it runs a condition. And then if there's an exception, it pushes the exception to a catch. And within that catch, you can do different things with that. So it does one thing. And if it doesn't work, then it goes to catch. That's basically what it does. So within the try uh, par portion of this, we're going to create a new variable called handle. And this is where we're going to be actually what we're going to be using to pull information. So, but before that, we have to create a, a connection to the database by creating a handle object. So it's a new PDO object. And the PDO object takes three um, arguments. Technically, it takes four, but it's three. And just follow this syntax. So we want to connect to the server by typing in MySQL host. And then we just type in our variable called server. After that, we put a semicolon and the name of our DB or our name or the database, and then set that equal to DB as we have before. And then that's our first argument. So this is basically connecting to the server, then finding a database within that server. And then the next thing we put is the username. Put this in quotation quotation marks and we put the username in here so the last two arguments are basically verifying that you're you uh, like you're part of this database here like the admin so to speak 
So those are your three arguments, technically four, because the, the server and DB go to go together. But now you it should connect to a database. That single line should connect to a database. But however, we're gonna add attributes to this handle by doing this. So the set attribute function basically gives this handle some properties. So there are two properties that I like to use. There's a list of them. I'll probably put a link in the description of different attributes you could add to this. But there's two um, pro um, attributes that I add. There's attribute error mode. And attrib attribute error mode basically allows error reporting, meaning if there's something wrong with this connection, it will report the code on the web page. And then this is a very important one because this is what this is the purpose of using try catch. We're gonna have error mode exception. So as I said earlier, the try does something. It does a certain thing that we want to do. In this case, we want to connect to a database. And then if there's an issue or an exception. It gets pushed into the catch, or in other words, thrown and then catched by the catch portion of the try catch, and then we could do other stuff with that. So now that we have that, we could do the error catching portion. So we had to put a condition right here. You put in PDO exception. So basically, the exception that we created by using the attribute, and then a variable which basically contains the exception. So if this statement is true, this PDO exception is true, meaning there is an issue with connecting to the database, it will run this part. So I simply put die, and then in here you say, oops, something went wrong in the database. So if there was an exception, it will kill the page and type out, oops, something went wrong in the database. And then if you want to further know what the error was, we simply type in e get message, basically meaning get the error. And you can echo, echo that out, print it out, whatever you want to do. So that, in essence, should connect to a database. And to check if we have, I'm going to, in here, I'm going to put echo connected, which will just echo out connected on the web page if we have connected to the database. However, if we don't connect to the database, it should say, oops, something went wrong in the database. So I'm running exam and I'm going to go to my localhost video and I'm going to type in index.php when I technically I don't have to, but we are connected to a database now. Now to check if let's say we entered all, entered the wrong database so let's say test one two three which i do not have in my server on my local web server so if we run this we should get an error called oops something went wrong or that should be written out on the page hopefully and we do so before this video ends i want to go through this again just to make sure it's clear because this looks very complicated so we have our server information, which are variables based on who um, is running the web server. Uh, it's based on your settings. And then we have, I'm going to change this back real quick. And then we have a try catch function. I'm going to call it function. And basically we want to try something, which is we want to try to connect to the database. And if there's an exception or an issue connecting to the database, we want to push that exception or throw that exception to this catch portion of the try catch function. And then if this condition is true, meaning if there is an exception, we simply kill the page. But within the try portion of this, uh, we created a variable called handle, which is basically a PDO object or a database object. And we can use that later on in our code to pull information. And I'll go in a video about that. And then we set attributes for this handle so that we get error reporting and then we could get exceptions, meaning if there's issues with the database. And I simply added this portion to check if the database is actually connected than showing just a blank page. So hopefully that explains how to connect to a database through PHP PDO. Hopefully I was clear enough to explain it. It's pretty straightforward. The syntax is weird, but it works. 
And if you're lazy like me, you don't have to type this all out. All the code is within my GitHub account. You could go download it. There'll be a link in the description. Use all my code. I don't care. If this video did help you out, though, please leave a like. Comment things that critique my videos. I'll, I mu They're much appreciated. It just makes me better. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.